Okay, bro. Rob Wise guy 82 here. Now work. So we're gonna open some stuff. Got. I didn't know what this was at first, but then I looked a little closer. I didn't. Oh man, I hate having the camera facing this way, but from Panini. This is my, uh, hold on a sec. This is my, uh, redemption card from Certified Sports Cards. Uh, when I tried their, uh, shit. Hold on one second. First redemption. Oh, cool. Twenty fourteen Panini uh, Crown Royal Silhouettes. What a chunky patch. 125 out of 299. Jordan Reed. Cool. Nice chunky three color patch. Obviously part of the number. That's what it looks like. The eight. Very cool. Alright, and then we got two Bowman Sterling mini boxes. Oh, that's why hopefully we'll use some of this. Let's see what we got. Hope everybody's doing well. Wish me luck on these. I was going to get a whole box, but I missed out on that one. And these we get... A thin pack. All right, so we're gonna get an auto in each one of these. too shiny. God, these cards are freaking awesome. Holy crap. Hunter Green. Victor, Victor Mesa. It's a nice one. I'm gonna. I gotta get a better way to do this because this isn't good. And then I don't even think you guys can see these, anyways. Gavin Lux. Oh, and then we got an orange one. Oh shoot. Dewell Lugo, number 54 out of 75. Dewell Lugo, orange rookie. And a Joe Adele. Uh, 
on card auto. Cool. Dewell Lugo. All right. Second one. Still really frustrated about <clears throat> the uh, freaking first off the lines. That sucks. Ooh, if uh, for any of you Dark Crystal fans out there, that started, and uh, I get these just for uh, some nostalgia. They uh, this is a monthly series from uh, Boom Studio. I mostly get them just because the Dark Crystal was one of my favorites when I was a kid. Uh, but the Netflix series just dropped, and I'm on the uh, second episode. I'm about to watch some more of that here in a bit. Um, I also just read Old Man Quill, number six. It's going to be 12 issues. And then I've also got, this is awesome, Spencer and Locke. This is volume two. Uh, basically what this is, if you guys can see too much reflection, it's basically Calvin and Hobbes grown up. Awesome, awesome. And then I've got... Uh, from Colin Bunn, The Empty Man. This is Volume 2. Uh, volume 1 came out about five years ago, I think. And then I've got... Uh, these came out at least like a month and a half ago. Uh, Event Leviathan, number 1. I think it's on number 3 or 4. And then Prodigy, number 6, from Mark Millar. This is the last of uh, the last of this six-issue miniseries. Which this one is about to be uh, on Netflix to uh, Millar World. If you guys want to check it out, uh, it's got a bunch of stuff coming. So I'm about to get into those tonight. All right, let's see what we get. Wish me luck, guys. I wish I would have turned the camera around. Sorry about that. Oop! Shoot. You have to hold on a second here in a minute, guys. Alright, yeah, hold on. Alright, we should be good, guys. First card. Bradley Singer. Haven't heard of this guy. Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. God, I know you guys can't really see that. I'm sorry. 
All right, next one is the auto. Kyle Wright for Atlanta. Brendan Rogers, Colorado. Come on. Ryan O'Hearn, rookie. turn around and I'll see it. Hmm. From Minnesota, Akil Badu. Base auto. On card. I think they might all be on card, but... Alright. Nothing crazy. Kiel Badu. Let's see. Yes. One moment. So yeah, that's going to be it guys, sorry about that. Akil Badu, it looks like he's in the minors right now, let's see, <clears throat> and I really didn't, except for O'Hearn, got a couple of rookies in that one, that's kind of cool. But. All right, not the best, but these are probably some of my favorites so far, and I'll definitely, especially if I get more of these, won't be uh, having the camera facing this way, so yeah, kind of cool to get my uh, Jordan Reed so quick, um, even though, you know, the that uh, little mystery box endeavor didn't turn out to be uh, very much of anything for me. Kind of turned me off to it a little bit, actually. But, uh, you know, just thinking more about not seeing anybody. You know, he's been doing them for a while, and I've only seen one person open up a box that wasn't the base of base boxes that you could get uh, that kind of turned that it's that uh, leaves a lot of reason a lot of room to question uh, and I don't like that because I, I mean like I said I've literally never seen anybody open up anything but one of the skunk boxes and anyways hope everybody's doing well and uh, what do I got uh, got a couple of things on the way so uh, yeah, we'll be doing something else soon. Peace, love, and hobby boxes. God bless.